Tonight, a Discovery Channel show pits humans against the force of a grizzly bear. When producers first asked MMA fighter Jesse Erickson to compete on Man vs. Bear, he thought it was a joke until he found himself in a tug of war with a 1,400 pound bear named Bart. We sat down with Jesse at his gym in Lewiston, Central Maine Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We talked about the show and his start in fighting. Fight. I used to get home from school and just like watch Mortal Kombat and play like video games like that were involved fighting, practice all the moves and and uh, I begged my mom to like sign me up for karate and jujitsu and whatever I could whatever I could do at the time and I was like I'm gonna find a way to make this what I do with my life. It wasn't even legal in Maine until uh, Matt Peterson had a, a big part in getting that passed, and then he started uh, the New England Fights promotion. What is the life of a professional MMA fighter? I mean, you must be training a lot. <laughs> I've flown to uh, Vegas to go to the Performance Institute with a buddy of mine who's in the UFC. So I've gotten like a, a lot of really cool experiences just from being involved with martial arts, you know, let alone this TV show, which is the same thing. like. Martial arts is what got me involved in that, too. On that note, there you were just kind of minding your own business, doing your own thing. You get a message on Instagram. What did the message say? This guy messaged me and said that he was filming for a, or casting for a reality show called Man vs. Bear. And, and you're thinking... Yeah, I thought I was like, that doesn't, I didn't even respond to it because I was like, ah, it doesn't sound like a real <laughs> thing, man. I'm, I gotta go to class. Like, and then uh, the next morning my phone rang and it was that guy, and uh, I'm, I'm, I really am casting for this show called Man vs. Bear, you know, what do you think? And, and I said, well, do I, do I fight the bear or what? <laughs> and he said, no, but I like your attitude. Like, uh, I'd like to have you fill out an application and see if we can get the ball rolling. And Sounds like it was a, a lengthy process, like six months, you're training for this, you're getting ready, mm -hmm. you finally show up and you see these bears, what's going through your mind? They're getting ready to film the first challenge of the day, uh, the like tug of war one. And they brought Bart the bear out in his trailer and he like, he slaps the back of the trailer and he's like, Rawr! <laughs> and they're like, oh, he's feeling playful today. I'm like, that's playful? <laughs> and, he, and he walks out, there's this giant bear, you know? I'm like, hey, I remember you from Game of Thrones. He's a big fella. <laughs> and you weigh hey about 170 hey pounds? Yeah, yeah. The bear weighs? About 1,400 pounds. Okay. So and it's a bit stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened when you had tug of war with Bart? I grabbed the rope and Bart did this with his neck and I went, whoa, <laughs> flying into the water like, Bart, like a comic book character. Like it was right. nothing to him. Hey Bart, it's okay. Oh, we got the grip and Jesse. Big cool, big cool. Big cool. Nice and easy, Bart. Look at Jesse's shoulders slung. Oh! oh. Yes. So you guys yeah, actually Bart. were facing off against grizzly bears. What were some of these challenges like? Yeah, they were, we actually competed against bears the whole time. It wasn't just like, I've seen a lot of things like online, like, ah, oh, this is, you know, edited in. Like, no, man, like a bear ran behind me while <laughs> I did this. I promise you that. Because I, if you ever needed, uh, that was one of the challenges, we did like a short obstacle course and then had to climb a tree and try to ring a bell. Um, and man, if you ever needed, you know, motivation to run or get through an obstacle, there it is. And let's see how Jesse does, oh, quickly over the first obstacle, moving pretty well, keeps the feet moving. And the bears weren't like, they weren't chained up at any point. They weren't like putting a shot collar or anything like that. Like they were treated very well. At any point, at any point you're like wondering, could that bear could just walk over here and have a snack at, if he wants, you know? <laughs> or you could get Bart's autograph. Yeah, exactly. Are, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they were really well trained though. Like they, they did awesome. They were playful, having fun the whole time. Jesse's at the tree. One more point. He'll eliminate Christina. I kind of get excited doing things like that. Things that like, I, I joke with my wife, much to her dismay, that like I'm most happy when I'm doing something that could get me killed. So. <laughs> Which I'm sure she loves. Yeah, well, she loves that, yeah. Like right before we, I flew out, I, like I looked at her and I was like, man, what a cool way to die, you know? Eaten by a bear. And she's like, that's not funny. Stop it. <laughs> Make sure the insurance is up to date. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you obviously, you do some coaching too. Mm -hmm. When 
kids look up to you and say, I, I want to be just like you. I want to do MMA fighting. Obviously, this is a challenging career to get into. What's your advice to the young ones? I think life's too short to do anything other than what makes you happy. So find what makes you happy and find a way to make some money doing it and, and live the way you want to live. According to the Discovery Channel, the three bears, Bart, Honeybump, and Tank, all live at a sanctuary in Utah, which is where the show is filmed. And two of the bears were actually orphaned cubs that were found by a state trooper in Alaska. I like that name, Honeybump. That's yeah. an interesting name. Sounds makes it sound much less ferocious. She is very ferocious, though, yeah, despite her name. No doubt. <laughs> Man vs. Bears airs Saturdays at 8 p.m.